In this video, we're going to go over how to set up sales tracking with Deadline Funnel and Drip. This is done with a webhook, which is simply a URL that Drip can use to send information to Deadline Funnel. So the first thing we want to do is grab that webhook URL. And we do that by going up to Integrations, choose the campaign you want to use, and click New Integration. Here we want to select Create Sales Tracking and click Next. Select Drip and click Next. If you haven't yet integrated Drip with Deadline Funnel, It'll come up with a screen like this so that you can input your account ID and your token, which you can acquire from your Drip account. Don't worry if you're not sure where to find it, you can click this link right here and it will show you exactly where to go. And once you have that information entered, you can click the integrate button. If you have already integrated your Drip account, you will see all of the Drip accounts you have integrated on a screen that looks like this, and you simply select the account that you want to use. Now you are going to designate how much each sale is worth. So first you select which currency you'd like to use, and then the value of that currency. For this example, we're just going to use $10. Then you click this button to copy the webhook URL. Once armed with the webhook URL, we go over to Drip and click Workflows, and click Workflows here. Create a new workflow, we're just going to go ahead and start from scratch. Now here we want to define how we trigger this workflow to begin. And we are going to trigger this workflow to begin every time a tag is applied to a contact. The tag that we are going to use will indicate that they have purchased a particular item. And as soon as that tag is applied, we click this Add, and we tell it we want to perform an action. So we want to choose the action here, and you scroll down until you see send an HTTP post. The endpoint URL is that webhook URL we picked up from Deadline Funnel earlier. We paste that right there. We'll leave the content type as a JSON, and then click Update Action. Then you hit the switch to turn it on, and you're all done. As soon as that's finished, anytime a sale is made, you will be able to click on Analytics in Deadline Funnel, and it shows up as a sale of $10 has been made. If you have any questions or need help with anything, don't hesitate to email us at help at deadlinefunnel.com.